she already fluffed that pillow. Monica, you know, you already fluffed, but it's fine. Look, I'm sorry, guys. I just don't want to give them any more ammunition than they already have. Yes, and we all know how cruel a parent can be about the flatness of a child's pillow. <laughs> Already is an adverb that signifies something that happened before the present moment or earlier than expected. It's used to indicate that an event has occurred or a situation exists at the current time or earlier than anticipated. Fluffing a pillow involves shaking or patting it to restore its plumpness, softness, and comfort for sleeping or resting. This common practice helps redistribute the filling, remove clumps, and maintain the pillow's shape and loft. By ensuring even distribution of air and material, fluffing a pillow contributes to a more comfortable and supportive experience, improving the quality of sleep or rest. Ammunition refers to bullets and rockets designed for use in firearms and weapons as well as potentially dangerous materials like nuclear, chemical, or biological substances that can be used as weapons of mass destruction. In a more figurative sense, ammunition can also describe information or evidence used in an argument or discussion to support or challenge a claim or viewpoint. It's the information that can be employed to attack or defend a position in a debate. Monica, you know, you already flipped, but it's fine. Look, I'm sorry, guys. I just don't want to give them any more ammunition than they already have. Yes, and we all know how cruel a parent can be about the flatness of a child's pillow. <laughs> Has anybody seen my engagement ring? Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> An engagement ring, also called a betrothal ring, is worn by someone to signify their commitment to getting married. It's typically a ring with a valuable gemstone, given as a formal symbol of the decision to marry. Has anybody seen my engagement ring? Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> tomorrow enough for me to give it back to him. Hi, Barry. Remember me? I'm the girl in the veil that stomped on your heart in front of your entire family. Oh, God. And now I'm going to have to return the ring without the ring, which makes it so much harder. <laughs> to dread means to feel intense fear, apprehension, or anxiety about something in the future. When someone is dreading something, they are experiencing a sense of impending dread or are filled with fear or reluctance about an anticipated event, situation, or task. For example, if someone says, I'm dreading the exam tomorrow, they are highly anxious or fearful about taking the upcoming exam. Dreading conveys a strong negative emotion associated with expecting something unpleasant or difficult. To stomp on someone or something means to step down forcefully, treat them poorly, or defeat them. However, if you stomp on someone's heart, it means to cause emotional pain by breaking their heart in a hurtful manner. A veil is a piece of fabric, often sheer or semi-transparent, worn to cover or partially conceal the face or head. Veils are commonly used for various purposes in different cultures and contexts. For instance, in many Western wedding traditions, brides wear a veil as part of their bridal attire. The wedding veil is a symbolic accessory representing modesty, purity, or the bride's transition into married life. Oh, like I wasn't dreading tomorrow enough having to give it back to him. Hi, Barry. Remember me? I'm the girl in the veil that stomped on your heart in front of your entire family. Oh, God, and now I'm going to have to return the ring without the ring, which makes it so much harder. <laughs> Look, there are people like Ross who need to shoot for the stars, with his museum and his papers getting published. Other people are satisfied with staying where they are. I'm telling you, these are the people who never get cancer. The idiom, shoot for the stars, means to aim for a very ambitious or challenging goal when trying to achieve something. 
It suggests setting high goals or aspirations, and it's often used to encourage someone to strive for something difficult. For example, if someone says they want to study at Harvard and another person responds with, shoot for the stars, they express support and encouragement for the ambitious goal. Look, there are people like Ross who need to shoot for the stars, with his museum and his papers getting published. Other people are satisfied with staying where they are. I'm telling you, these are the people who never get cancer. You remember the Ludwins. Yeah. The big one had a thing for you, didn't she? Mm. They all had a thing for him. Oh, wow. To have a thing for something is an informal expression that means having a strong interest or liking for something. When used in the context of someone, it implies having romantic or emotional feelings for that person, similar to having a crush. It's a casual and indirect way of expressing romantic interest or attraction. For example, if someone says, I have a thing for Sarah, it means they are romantically interested in or have feelings for Sarah. You remember the Ludwins, yeah. the big one had a thing for you, didn't she? Mm. They all had a thing for him. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is not a happy high. Carol's pregnant. Oh, I found it! <laughs> What? 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 Yeah. <laughs> Do that for another two hours, you might be where I am right about now. Kind of puts that whole pillow thing in perspective, huh, Mon? Well, now, how, how do you fit into this whole thing? Well, Carol says she and Susan want me to be involved, but if I'm not comfortable with it, I don't have to be involved. Basically, it's totally up to me. To put something in perspective means to compare it to something else to help others better understand or judge it. This comparison provides a clearer and more accurate idea of the discussed subject. For example, you say total investments for this year reached $57 million, and, to put this into perspective, investments this year were double those made in 2017. Fit into has two primary meanings. When you fit into a group, you belong there because you share similarities with the other members. If something fits into a situation or system, it appears to be the right place or category. The idiom, be up to someone, conveys that someone is responsible for a task or has the authority to decide. It signifies the ability to determine or dictate, and it is often used to express responsibility for a specific duty. For instance, you can say, it's not important what I think, the decision is up to my boss. That is not a happy high. Carol's pregnant. Oh, I found it! <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what? Yeah. <laughs> Do that for another two hours, you might be where I am right about now. <laughs> Kind of puts that whole pillow thing in perspective, huh, Mon? <laughs> well, now, how, how do you fit into this whole thing? Well, Carol says she and Susan want me to be involved, but if I'm not comfortable with it, I don't have to be involved. Basically, it's totally up to me. So, got any advice? You know, as someone who's recently been dumped, well, you may want to steer clear of the word dumped. Uh, chances are he's going to be this this broken shell of a man, you know, so you should try not to look too terrific. I know it'll be hard. The word dump means to place or drop something carelessly or untidily, to dispose of something unwanted often by leaving it in a location where it's not supposed to be. It also refers to a site where waste materials are left, like a landfill. However, informally, it can mean ending a relationship suddenly.
steer clear of someone or something means to avoid individuals or situations that appear unpleasant, dangerous, problematic, or difficult. For example, people might avoid discussing sensitive topics like religion. This phrase emphasizes avoiding something or someone perceived as potentially troublesome or unwanted. The phrase, chances are, indicates that something is likely or probable. It is often used when discussing the likelihood of a particular outcome or event. For example, if someone says, chances are, it will rain tomorrow, they are expressing that there is a high probability or likelihood of rain occurring. It's a way of suggesting that the indicated outcome is more likely than not. Broken shell of a man refers to a man who no longer appears like a man because his spirit was broken. Terrific is an adjective to describe something as excellent, wonderful, or very good. It's a way to express being pleased or impressed by something. Additionally, terrific emphasizes a significant amount or degree of something, indicating that it is great in intensity or quantity. So, got any advice? You know, it's someone who's recently been dumped. <laughs> well, you may want to steer clear of the word dumped. Uh, <laughs> chances are he's going to be this this broken shell of a man, you know? So you should try not to look too terrific. I know it'll be hard. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button. And if you want to watch my next videos, please consider subscribing to my channel.